Hi, I'm Valerie, and today I wanted to talk with you about Life of Fred math series. It's an entire series of books on math, but it's not your typical series. It's not your typical math book. So um, I wanted to just briefly give you a review of what we've used. Um, my oldest daughter used this material in 2011. I believe she was about in fifth grade then, and we were really struggling with fractions and decimals and percents. And I was at a loss. Uh, being my oldest and first child to homeschool, I really wasn't sure how to communicate these uh, concepts to her. And also, I'm not a, a strong math student myself. Um, you know, I, I can do it, but I'm not great at explaining how I did it. So I needed some help. And through a friend's website, I kind of stumbled upon these books, Life of Fred. This is the first one we used, Life of Fred, Fractions. And it is a book that uses uh, a story to teach the concepts. So you follow Fred, and it's very humorous, very unrealistic a type of fantasy, you could say, a story, because Fred is a five-and-a-half-year-old college professor. So right there, you see, it's, it's just for fun. But it's, it teaches the concepts. Fred has a problem, and Fred has to use math to solve the problem. So as we're following Fred's uh, problems and issues in his life, we are learning how math can solve so many of those uh, problems that we have, and we see how Fred uses math, and he explains what he did to come up with the answer. Then, at the end of the chapter, uh, there are some questions called, Your Turn to Play, so it kind of makes it fun. So right here, you see Your Turn to Play, and you also see the complete solutions to these questions. Now, they're not that challenging. The questions are not really challenging for the student. They're pretty basic questions uh, that just covers the material they just read in the story. Um, so you need to cover up the solutions and they write the answers on a sheet of notebook paper. That way you can reuse these books over and over. So um, after about five chapters, you come to a thing called the bridge and you get to cross the bridge. And once you cross the bridge, you can continue on to the next concept in the next chapter. But you have five tries. That's what they're called. Um, here's the bridge. This is the first try. And then obviously the next page is the second try. Each one is ten questions. The answers are not on the page. They are in the back of the book. And I will show you that. Um, to find the answers to the bridge questions, you just have to turn to the back. And it tells you what page. Like this one is third try. And not only do the bridge, the bridge questions cover the material just learned in the previous few chapters, but it, as you continue through the book, you review all the concepts from the very beginning. They keep, he keeps quizzing and testing the, the student on what's been covered. So we used the Fractions book, and they're written by Stanley Schmidt, who is a PhD. Uh, and then we used the Decimals and Percents book. Uh, since we've done these books, I have come up with other methods to teach these concepts to my children, visuals and things like that, different ways. So I haven't really had to rely on these since then. But for my fifth grader who really was struggling with these concepts, these were a lifesaver. She read them, she enjoyed them, she got it. And when we went on the next year, um, her, I believe her sixth grade year, and I think we used, um, we started using Saxon math about that time. She was right on grade level. She was right where she needed to be. She remembered everything from these books. Now, as I said, you can start from elementary and go all the way through. We chose not to do the higher concepts of math, the algebra, the geometry with Life of Fred, because it seemed, um, I don't know, a very uh, untraditional approach. And I was a little nervous, especially as I mentioned, I heard about these with my oldest child, her plans to go to college, uh, she wanted to take higher math so she could get into college, and I just wasn't sure if Life of Fred would prepare her well enough for the ACT or the SAT exam. So we did switch to Saxon math, and she did really well with that curriculum and did really well on her ACT. Uh, but, you know, I owe it to Fred because these are foundational concepts. We need to know about decimals and percents and fractions before we can go forward to, to harder concepts. So um, this was a, a really great option for our family. Uh, so you can purchase these books uh, at, from uh, polkadotpublishing.com. You can see sample pages. You can read reviews. That's the actual publishing house of the author. That's the one he, he published these himself. Uh, they are, this book is $19 as well as this one. Uh, so not expensive at all. And as I mentioned, you can reuse the books over and over. Um, 
Uh, you can also purchase it from a christianbook.com, CBD, Christian Book Distributors website. Um, also, I did try using, with one of my children, the, the elementary series, which I believe is an ABC. They follow, the titles all follow the alphabet. So the first book was Apples, and that's the only one we did. I, I tried it. We loved Life of Fred so much, I thought, I should try this with my, my other children. Well, that book was really easy to do. It didn't take my daughter long at all to finish, I think, the whole book. We, we finished it really quickly, and then I was scrambling to figure out, do we want to continue with this, or should I try something more traditional? Uh, because obviously it was the very easy concepts of adding and subtracting and the basic fundamentals of math, and I just wasn't sure if she was getting enough practice, if it was really clicking of how to do this, these, these uh, systems. So I abandoned Life of Fred and went back to the traditional cur curriculum that I had been using. So it was a fun book. It was um, really quick for her to complete it every day. She had a, you know, she enjoyed it. I was just leery of how well it was preparing her for, um, like I said, a higher math, more traditional approach to math, that kind of thing. But I highly recommend this series if you're looking for something different, if you're bored, if you are uh, maybe discouraged with your typical math curriculum. Life of Fred gives you a great um, breather from the norm. And so I highly recommend it for that, that purpose. If you have any questions about it, uh, feel free to comment uh, below in the comment section and uh, I'll try to answer those questions. If you have any other materials you're interested in, uh, maybe I've used them and I could give a review, or if there's something you've used and you'd like to share it with me, I would love to hear that too. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.